Gen Z may not be your target audience or your target consumer right now, but if you understand them, if you watch how they consume content or buy products, it's a way to future-proof because they are going to be highly influential in how we all behave in the future. Gen Z is right now between the ages of about seven and 17. So the oldest ones were in kindergarten when 9-11 happened. It's the grave new world for them. They only know post 9-11 and they only know school shootings and recession. So they have a practical perspective on what they need to accomplish in their life. I mean, they saw their parents lose their jobs. They know people that can't afford college and have student debt. So at a very young age, they're planning their future. They want to be healthy. They want to have a career. And they want to be successful. Because they've grown up in a grave new world, and they're fully aware of reality. They don't love polished, perfect situations. They want their entertainment to reflect the world they live in. They don't want fully happy endings just because that's what's expected. There is no once upon a time that resonates with them. What they want is realism. They don't like it when there's a model in a cornfield with her hair blowing back perfectly, putting on mascara. That's not gonna sell the product for them. What they want is a story of what the product does, how do I take care of the product, what is the product gonna do for me, and show it to me on a real person. Hey guys, it's Jen. This is my new bay. It is like... Because they're much savvier about where they're spending their money. They're doing research on products, and so they don't want a celebrity spokesperson that's going to make them feel like if they buy this product, their life will be perfect, because they know it, it won't be. And that's why you need deep magic. So they're really fascinated with creators. That's why this idea of knowing who the creator is, and if somebody can tell a great story, they can be a fan in a way that they never were before. You've got kids now we see it all the time, who know writers, they know individual artists, they know creators because they respect their output. They respect a brand that can tell a great story. They respect someone that can take a beautiful photo. It's a very different level of awareness now that has sparked this respect and admiration for true storytellers. They obviously want realistic stories, but they want to be able to learn new things. That's why there's this surge in biographies, in documentaries. Young kids, even millennials, they love documentaries because it allows them to experience history, not just read about it, not just hear about it in school, but to actually dive in and experience it in a way that feels more in touch with their lives. Over half of millennials and Gen Z, they pick their clothes every day based on what it's going to look like on camera. Because they're such a visual generation. Everybody's being photographed and filmed all the time. So I'm just gonna flip this from video mode to selfie mode. There's no difference between online and offline. In fact, saying online just shows that you're dated because they're always connected. And so the idea of your community is really different because you have the community of people that you deal with on a daily basis, but they have relationships with people that they've never actually physically met and that they feel like they know just as well as somebody they see every day. I'm gonna tell you about the album. You have kids now that are meeting one another through Minecraft. One kid might live in China, one kid might live in the United States, but they have this shared passion and they can connect with one another in a way that allows them to find someone that's like-minded but through those relationships, they can discover an entire world of things that they might not have otherwise had access to. You think about it, they might learn about new food, they might learn about a great book, they might learn about music, back and forth. And this sharing of culture that started with a shared passion makes me very optimistic for the world.